लेट्स सी अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट वी नीड टू सॉल्व दिस सो यू विल यू कैन इजिली फाइंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन एंड फॉर द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल विच रूल वी विल यूज ई पावर ए एक्स इन टू वी वेर वी इज एनी फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स सो लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द सोल्यूशन कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू एन ऑक्जेलरी इक्वेशन सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज एम स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एम प्लस थ्री इक्वेट टू जीरो सो एम स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एम माइनस एम प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो टेकिंग एम कॉमन एम माइनस थ्री एंड इफ यू टेक माइनस वन कॉमन एम माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो सो एम माइनस थ्री एंड एम माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो so you are getting m equals to 3 and 1 as your roots you can easily write the complementary function as c1 e power first root times x plus c2 e power second root times x now proceeding with the particular integral which is 1 upon f of d which is d square minus 4d plus 3 and this will be operating on 2 times x e power 3x. First basic thing I will do is to take this 2 out of the operator. Second thing I will apply the rule which says take this e power 3x out. So 2 e power 3x. Then it says replace d by d plus a where a is the coefficient of x in this expression. Coefficient of x in e power a x term so that is 3 so replace d by d plus 3 so it will be d plus 3 the whole square minus 4 times d plus 3 and plus 3 now this will be operating on the remaining x so this is 2 e power 3 x 1 upon Ah, uh, this is d square plus nine plus six d minus four d minus twelve plus three, operating on x. So two e power three x one upon d square ah uh, plus two d you will get nine minus twelve is minus three minus three plus three is zero. Now, what is the rule for x power n? Now you will again use the rule for x power n. What it says: take the lowest degree term out. So, lowest degree term here is this term. So I will take that out common. So I will get one from this term, and d square divided by two d will be d by two simply. operating on x okay now this two can easily be cancelled and i will be getting my particular integral now as e power 3x and uh, this i can write as 1 upon d and the remaining i can take up so 1 plus d by 2 power minus 1 operating on x 1 plus x raised to power minus 1 is 1 minus x let us write that so this is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x power 4 minus so on okay here if you have plus you will get alternate um, plus minus sign here if you have minus you will get all positive so this is the thing so we can expand using that so 1 upon d now this can be written as 1 minus d by 2 uh plus x square so d square by 4 i will not write the further term because i know first derivative is 1 second derivative is 0 okay no need to go for the higher derivative even for uh, the second derivative okay so uh after that i can write minus and so on operating on x 
सो दिस इज ई पावर थ्री एक्स वन अपॉन डी नाउ ब्रिंग दिस एक्स इन साइड सो एक्स माइनस डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स इज वन दिस इज सिंपली डी ऑफ एक्स बाय टू सो डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स इज वन बाय टू नाउ सेकेंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स इज एनी वे जीरो सो आई विल राइट प्लस जीरो सो ई पावर थ्री एक्स वन अपॉन डी इज नथिंग बट द इंटीग्रल सो एक्स माइनस वन बाय टू so this is e power 3x integral of x is x square by 2 that of minus half is minus x by 2 so this is your particular integral now i can write my final solution as cf plus pi what was my cf c1 e power 3x plus c2 e power x plus my pi which is e power 3x x square by 2 minus x by 2. this is my final answer i hope you understood uh, the problem thanks and have a nice day